Xavier Worthy joins us now. All right, so X, let, let me ask you because Sark was was asking me about. Uh, I had a little alligator encounter on vacation. It was no big deal, but, I mean, he was there. So, I know you've got that look on your face like any encounter with an alligator is a big yeah. deal. I understand that. Uh, so, that might answer my question. Where are you Where are you when it comes to alligators? Oh, I don't fool alligators. Those things are crazy. They're faster than us. So, I'm, I'm staying far <laughs> away from them. I'm guessing not a lot of alligators in Fresno, probably. Oh, I've never seen an alligator in Fresno. <laughs> <laughs> um, let, to bring everybody up to speed on how you feel physically, mentally the excitement of getting ready for this uh, coming season right um i feel like this is the best my body's ever felt since i've been in college so um really um i want to thank our coaching staff you know our weight room staff they've really been getting me right and taking care of me so two-part question x how's how's the hand and then just everything that that went into last year for you once you got a chance to get through the bowl game and sit down and you know decompress and process just how'd you how did you process everything that you went through last year? Um, my hand's completely healed now. Um, I've been getting my catches in every day, working on that. And um, I feel like um, a lot of people don't understand how the mental really messes with athletes. So mm -hmm. I feel like I just, after the season, I just took time, like sat down and got my mental right. And um, I feel like I'm good now. What, um, other than obviously getting uh, healthy, I, I, I wanted to get your thoughts on this because we just asked Quinn about it and you talked about how much fun he has working with you and how you guys are – he kept – describing as putting in the work, putting in the work. You guys were putting in a lot of work. Right. What has that been like in the offseason once you got healthy again? And not just with him, but we were also talking about Malik and Arch and all, all working with the quarterbacks, what that's been like for you in this offseason. Right. Uh, I feel like this has been better than any since I've been here. Um, we've been getting, like, more extra work in, uh, throws after practice, um, whether that's in the weight room or, like, even after, like, a little – our prayer around practice, so um, I feel like we, that's been better with us. One guy I want to ask you about, uh, it's good that we're getting you early in the morning, I want to ask you about Terrence Brooks because, you know, you look at some of the other pieces in that secondary. I mean, we saw what Ryan did last year, and, uh, you know, we've seen Jaron and some of those other guys, but Terrence playing that, that field corner position, when you've kind of, I don't know if you've, how much you've gotten a chance to go against him and some of the one-on-ones you, you guys have done, but where have you seen Terrence kind of grow from the experience he got last year? Um, I feel like Terrence grew mentally. Um, obviously, he's physically a freak. So, <laughs> but mentally, I feel like he's grown and he's more mature now. You, you, you've gone against some of the best corners in the league, some of the best corners in the country. You feel like he's got his tools, can get him there if, if the mental part is right? Yeah, definitely. I feel like Terrence has the tools for that. Um, if you were rating uh, who the best interview out of your teammates here at Big 12 Media Day. Oh, that's easy. Uh, I, I start saying, other than you. Other, other Jay Witt, definitely. Really? Definitely, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 I call him old man, you know what I'm saying? He's an uncle, <laughs> so that's why I said like Jay Witt. The, 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 old, the old head stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, um, um, going into this year, as and you're not exactly an old head, but you've been around a while, <laughs> a little bit. Um, do you feel like more of a leader? Um, yeah, I feel like um, Sark has me taking on more of that leadership role, and I feel like it's kind of good for me to – to um, encourage the young guys because we got a few young guys in our room and I feel like um, helping them will just help me in the future because I, if I get out, they could come in and do the same thing I'm doing. Talk, talk about that receiver room, X, because it's going from, you know, when, when you got here, there was some talent in there but maybe not a lot of depth. And now we, we, we spent the whole offseason trying to figure out how you guys are all going to get enough balls thrown to you. What, right. what impresses you the most about just this group as a whole? Right, like I said, it's a lot of, like, talent in there, young talent, old talent. Um, like the young guys, like Ryan Nimblett, DeAndre Moore, Jonte Cook, um, I feel like they, they could come in and do the same thing we're doing right, right now. So I feel like that's what really changed in the receiver room. And, and how much of a difference can Isaiah make, you know, him getting back from the knee and, and being a part of that group? Because I think you know, we see AD and the young guys, but everybody forgets, hey, Isaiah was supposed to be a part of this last year, but right. we didn't see him because of the knee. Right, like I said, anybody like him, anybody could come in and do exactly what we're doing. So I feel like that's what really changed in the receiver room and, like, the culture receiver room. Everybody's, like, close to each other. What are you looking forward to more than anything else about this coming football season? Um, shoot. I really don't know. That's all I'm really looking forward to Yeah, right just now. getting it going? Yeah, just getting it going. I hear you. How, how different is it, X, because, you know, you guys are picked to you know, be the preseason champion in this league. Media poll picks you guys number one. Is I know the goal is always to, to be here in the last game of the regular season, but – does that now seem more in focus for you guys that, hey, you know, not just with the external stuff, but internally you feel like it is really the goal 
to get back here and be playing in December for a conference championship? Um, yeah, you're right. That's always goal. But I, I'm not going to lie. Stark always instilled that to us. Like, um, like no matter where we're like, picked to be, like, that's the goal regardless. Like, we're going to work towards that. We're going to work the same regardless if we're last or not. So. Hey, it's great to see you again. I'm glad to see you healthy again, too. Yes, I appreciate it. Look forward to calling your games this year. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. All right. Xavier Worthy joining us here.